To find the impeller to your Yamaha outboard engine, you're going to want to navigate to one of the repair kit component diagrams. For my particular engine, it's located in repair kit 2 component diagram. And the part is number 26 on the microfish. Now take note, this could be different for your model, but in my case, it's labeled 26, but it's going to look identical. The impeller can also be found in one of the lower casting drive component diagrams. In my case, it's number 3. And the number on the microfish is number 26. But just as before, this number could be different depending on your unit, but it's always going to look the same. The water impeller needs to be serviced every 100 hours or about once per year, but make sure it's part of your yearly routine maintenance schedule on your outboard engine. An impeller that does not work correctly will cause the engine to overheat, leading to severe power head damage. In order to get to your impeller, you'll need to drop your gear case. Once you have your hands and eyes on the impeller, it's easy to see if yours needs to be replaced. The tips of the impeller vane should be flexible without any gouges, cracks, or other wear, and the rubber should be flexible, not stiff. If your motor has been sitting unused for a few seasons, or if it's a new buy off Craigslist and you're not sure the last time it saw water, it's a good idea to replace the impeller right away. Lack of use can cause impellers to get dry and brittle. The impeller is a cheap outboard part about $25 and it's worth every penny not to burn out your engine. So whether it's at the beginning of the year when it's time to hit the water or when it's time to shut everything down, make servicing your impeller a routine and you'll never have to worry about a burnout engine.